Hey everybody, it's me, it's Mr. Pinkerton. As you can see, I've been transformed into a talking snail. And uh, today I'm going to talk to you about the lab we're gonna to do tomorrow. I was hoping you guys would come by and pick up the lab sheet after the um, test. Sorry I didn't hand it out to you. For those of you who did great, if you didn't, it's uploaded on Schoology, so you can follow along there. So here's the, here's the lab sheet. This is it's called the Interdependence of Plants and Animals. And we're going to be measuring uh, carbon dioxide and oxygen and the interaction of those two gases with then plants and animals. We're going to be working with our snail, little snail guy there. And we're going to be working with a plant called Elodia. So this is Elodia. It is also called common waterweed. It's an invasive species. Here, I'll spell it for you. It's, um, hold on here, Elodia densa. That's the... Um, that's the common name. I'm sorry, the Latin name. And like I said, it's invasive. Uh, we'll have to destroy it when we're done with it. It grows everywhere, but that's our plant that we're going to be working with. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be measuring the changes in dissolved oxygen and carbon dioxide in water under different conditions. One with snails, one with plants, one with both, one without any as our control. And we're going to measure dissolved oxygen using a dissolved oxygen probe. So uh, if you look here, we'll use our LabQuest equipment, which is, um, as you know, we've used these before with some luck in the past. This is the uh, LabQuest, and then we'll be using the dissolved oxygen probe. You can see it here. And we're also going to be measuring carbon dioxide in the water. We do that indirectly by measuring acidity. As you might remember, if you add carbon dioxide to water, it lowers the pH. So we're going to use our LabQuest to do that. And we're going to put everything into, whoops, we're going to put everything into um, tubes like this. So we'll have four tubes. Actually, we'll have eight tubes that will have uh, one control with nothing in it except water. One with a plant, one with a snail, one with both. Then we repeat the whole thing, but we wrap up four of the tubes in aluminum foil to simulate uh, dark conditions, which actually will provide a dark condition. Okay, and then if you look at the next couple pages, um, there's a whole section here called pre-lab procedures. You don't have to do that. I've taken care of all that for you. Uh, so we're going to be ready to go. But you're going to need to get your eight test tubes uh, and your test tube racks and your water. And then let's take a look at the procedures. It says put a snail in tubes two, four, six, and eight. Oops, I jumped way ahead here. Hold on. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so place your snail in each tube. Um, as it says in, this, in, the, in the tubes 2, 4, 6, and 8, and then just kind of read down the list. You'll see which ones to do. You're going to set up eight tubes. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to um, uh, 20. So this is what we're going to do up through tomorrow. So I want you to be ready to do this. Please read the instructions up through here. Um, have somebody know what they're doing in your group. I hope you all know what you're doing in the group. And uh, this could take a little while, so I want to make sure we get it all done before the end of the period. I think it could be a lot of fun. And um, so come ready and prepared. Thanks. See you later. Bye.